Yeah. Hey, I am. That's my mom. Right, so she don't want to be okay. She's <laughs> Thank you, I'm sorry. She, I don't know why she don't like the camera. We still going to keep it, though. I did LA, but before that, uh, I ain't did Miami in a few So, we here. Miami, let's get it. Money, stacking money. I don't walk for money. Run the money. Money call, bitch, I don't know. Actually, huh? after you had your two boys, now you're a girl dad. Mm -hmm. What is that? How did that change you? What does that mean? Completely, it's just, it's different. I got to I don't know how, like, the way I even talk to her, my baby talk to her is different. You know, I had two boys. So like, is your outlook on Now I got to be much more too? delicate, like, just everything. I gotta take my time. When you got a daughter, you gotta take your time. But when kids, my sons, I can just rough them up when they do shit. You feel me? I can't do that with her. I gotta take my time and talk to her, you know? I don't really like. I don't. I never hit none of my kids for real, but I'm just saying with her, I gotta, I gotta slow down and talk to you, right, mama? So you can't get mad at me. She just made two months. What's up? Look how he crawl. <laughs> he crawl on his hands and feet. Man. That's a fast one. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta look you take your turns on if you want to be on his knees or his feet and hands. <laughs> what you looking at, boy? You trying to be okay? What's up, mommy? Oh, okay, okay, okay. What's her name? Amy. Yeah, she get, she get real, real irritable. If you don't carry her the right way or something, she, she ain't with it. It's her way or the highway, I promise. Pickle, what you got in your mouth? What's that? What are you eating, bro? This kid always picking up what some shit on the floor. What are you doing? Come here. Yeah. Come here. How important is it for you to have your family with you while you're traveling? Mm -hmm. uh, really, as much as I can, you know, it's important just to, so I can balance it out. I was going to be in Miami a week. It's a good trip to just, you know, get away, let the kids come. So, yeah, I mean, I'm in, I'm in a position now where I have to. If I know I would be gone for certain times, like tour and shit, I gotta set time apart. Like, all right, I gotta have my family come for it. It's, it's two weeks or something like you know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, you finna put that jersey on though? Who all in the room? Just you and Jim? Yeah. All right, but All right, it's good. Yeah, I had to call for them, see what type of drip they putting on right now, man. Yeah. See, we just some shopping from. Well, I went. I went to uh, market, no, no, gallery no, no, department. Any, any brand, quick. Good. I ain't gonna lie, was. Today my first day shopping since I've been out here. I had brought clothes and shit. So I all supposed to have been doing shit like the other day shopping and shit, trying to go find something to wear. Bro, something happened literally every time. Like either I was studio too late and didn't wake up. Bro, y'all know this fucking hotel caught on fire like two days ago. No way, that's crazy. I swear. The hotel caught on fire like some crazy shit. Like imagine you having some shit to do and you call one for like, yeah man, my hotel just on fire. They ain't gonna believe you. Like, the fuck you mean your hotel's on fire? Everybody had to evacuate the whole hotel, bro. That shit was crazy, like a movie. I'm out there with my kids and shit, Emma Lambs, Russian. That shit was like a real movie, wasn't it, Dale? Some shit that, <laughs> I ain't never seen no shit like that. How important is what you're gonna wear on stage? Uh, it's important. I ain't gonna lie. I always, like, when I, when I got shows and shit, when I be thinking about what I'm gonna wear, I always base it off of, like, like how I'm feeling that like for that show, you feel how what I'm saying? Like, I feel good. Like, you know, <laughs> I feel good. 
energized. I got a lot of energy right now. But I always like, I, I'm, I always wear like something different for like a festival or a club performance. You know, like it's, it's always gonna be like a different type of sweat. That's we have a really important question before we get into the nitty gritty. Alright, cool. I'm with it. Harold's or Uncle Remus? Harold's a thousand percent. I fuck with I fuck with Uncle Remus though. It's good. You gotta be in the mood for both of them. But if I had to choose Harold's, I was literally like, I was raised on Harold's. You know what's so crazy? Probably why I like it so much. My mama told me this funny story I didn't even know. The day she like went in the labor with me, she was eating Harold's. That was her last meal before she like uh gave birth to me. So that's probably wow. why I like this shit so much. <laughs> So I'm gonna just trying to get both of these at the festival. Cool, cool. What's the most important part of you prepping for a show? Most important part? Getting my mind right. I gotta like literally like not think about nothing for real. I gotta like literally zone out. Like even when I'm on stage, if I'm thinking too hard or paying attention to like the crowd reaction or you know, I only glance at that type of stuff. I could never really like pay attention to people in the crowd because I feel like it'll make me like forget a lyric or something. I've done it before literally like paying attention to anything around me like somebody on the side of the stage or like my family being there or some shit. I got to zone everything out so I can just focus on the show. Do you ever so get nervous? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I still get nervous. nervous. Uh, just relax, you know. I get nervous just because I'm a perfectionist. I always want everything to go perfect and go right but at the end of the day, like when you know you built for this shit, you don't really have to like be nervous. I know this is what I do for a living, so I'm gonna always, you know what I'm saying, deliver on my part, you know, but I get nervous for sure, like big shows. Not every show though, like yeah. big shows for sure. What's the worst thing that's gone wrong on stage? Um, I performed with Miley Cyrus, Lollapalooza last year. Oh, wow. So it was a brand new song, so I'm trying to remember. I'm knowing like, yeah, I know it, I got this shit down packed. And right to the part where like the hardest part of my verse where I chained the floor up, I forgot the whole shit. I was so mad, but I played it off though. And then it's like, it was so like, yeah, how'd you the energy, it, no, they didn't even know I messed up, only I did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, when I fucked up the lines, the energy was so crazy, they was already going crazy. I just hugged my, I just gave them a hug and played it off. What do you think you've improved the most on since your first performance that you ever did? Ever? Um, or maybe just some general. Energy. Energy for sure, like, you know, I used to, when I first started doing music, I was young and shit, man. I used to be like, high drinking lane and shit, so my energy was always down on stage, like, cool. But now I'd be like, hyped and excited, going off the crowd energy. Um, I always kind of been good at like, communicating on stage, like talking to fans and shit. I definitely improved on just my energy overall. I think they come with like confidence too though, you know? When you gain more confidence as an artist, you're just gonna be able to swag up different on stage. Have you ever had a moment on stage where you felt like emotional or had to take a beat because you were just like, oh shit, this is... Um, I mean, yeah, a few times. I think in, I definitely did it a, a, a few times in Chicago. Just It's always different when you back home mm -hmm. and you feel the love where you actually come from. These people seeing you grow. like overcome a lot of shit. Like a lot of my fans grew with me anyways because I started doing it so young. Like so if you really are my day one fan, you actually literally seen me grow into a man. I started rapping when I was sixteen years old. Now I'm twenty six, so they literally watched me turn into a man. When I be home in Chicago it'd be feeling good when I just get to feel that energy and know people actually know my story and where I came from, you know. What's it like for you to hear the crowd like rapping back your lyrics? Um, it feel good. It word definitely word. feel good. Um, word for word when they rapping it, it's just like, damn. They really fuck with me. They really know my shit. You know, I'm I'm real humble too, so I don't, I don't, even though I know I got a lot of fans, you know, all over the world, I don't really expect everybody to just know who I am or know my music or, you know what I'm saying, fuck with it. Because I'm still trying to grow as an artist myself, you know what I'm saying, so I don't really look at it like, I got it all figured out, you know, I'm still trying to gain new fans for different reasons and shit, so you never know. And even when you do shows and people rapping your shit word for word, there's somebody in that crowd that's just like, damn, I fuck with him now. There's always somebody in the crowd that just like, you know, maybe a fan, like, already right, cool. But. Someone isn't already a fan of yours since we're at a festival. Mm -hmm. What can they expect from your show? Can they expect? Um, the thing with festivals in my style of rap, I do like hype crowds, like excited, you know what I'm saying? But 
a lot of people like hip hop too and want to listen to like some real shit when they on stage. So I try to mix the two, combine the two, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really feel like I know how to rap rap, you know what I'm saying? Um, There's a lot of artists that bring it to the table, but I feel like just with me, a lot of my fans fuck with me for that just as much as, you know what I'm saying? Just the whole all around package, like people be wanting to hear me rap. So I like to slow the crowd down and like, just talk shit on some rap shit, you know? They be fucking with it though, like, you could tell they energy, like, even if they not jumping up and down, they really li listening and paying attention, you know? So, I like I like that about, like, I, that I could do that, you know what I'm saying? What's the feeling that I could mix want, it up, do both. You want your fans or your fans to leave like that? Um, sure. feeling? I'm gonna think it's something good, like a feeling that I would want my fans to leave with after seeing me uh, perform. Uh, just like rawness, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like that raw effect that an artist could leave on you, like, damn, no, he real, like nothing. I don't have no gimmicks, ain't nothing that I do scripted or too much thought out unless I'm planning like goals or nothing. But when it comes to just me being an artist, man, what you see is what you get, you feel me? And I think that's why people fuck with me, for real, for that, for sure. I know they definitely fuck with that. So last year you told Rolling Stone that you're, not, you're never really living in the moment. So. What, I, what I meant by that is like, I don't get too excited or thrown off by certain milestones or certain things that I accomplish in life, you know, because I'm always trying to get better, like better myself and get better than I was yesterday, be a better artist than I was last year. So what I mean by not living in the moment is like, I don't walk around like, yeah, I just accomplished this, I just did this, you know what I'm saying? Or, too much give it praise or thought, thought, you know what I'm saying? I just, I know in my head that I did it and if I could do that, then I could do better, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, yeah, that's what I meant by like not living in the moment, you know, I'm just on the better things. I'm always trying to just get better. So it's like, all right, cool. When I do some shit, it's like, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I know how long I worked for, how long I prepped to do this shit. So it ain't just happen overnight. So when you get results, it's just like, all right, you just gotta keep working and doing it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people live in the moment because a lot of shit probably got handed to them, you know what I'm saying? Or a lot of shit probably just, they might have got blessed with it right then, you know? Like, blessings don't all happen overnight, they take time. And a lot of times you gotta work hard for your blessings. So when you work as hard as I do for the shit that you get, you just like, just keep working. Like, it's just like the same shit. It's kind of, it's almost like, not celebrating a jump shot when you hit a jump shot, you know what I'm saying? You in the gym hours and hours and hours, you're supposed to hit this jump shot, you feel me? So, yeah, that's how I look at it. Are we ready? Is everybody ready? Who won't smoke with us? 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 Nigga. I be with real killers. I'm a rapping street nigga. Copy, paste, delete niggas. Can't wait till we see niggas. Who won't smoke is free. All the opera sweet switch, hop out middle of the street, hit him. Soon as he fall off his feet, kill him. Been out all week, seen three RIP pills. My shooters all eat. You can tell that we rich. Pull up ball and swish. Been on all the hits. Now I'm all legit. Shout not a wig. Bitch, one, two, three, four. Fuck the ops, them niggas hoes. Five, six, seven, eight. Slam and race with GDK. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No mask, still ain't go to jail. Honey K checks in the mail. Put that away, just for bill. All the crack we used to sell. Auntie house still got the smell. Fans be negative as hell. Fuck that shit, I just prevail. Hey, y'all hold a hundred shells. Aim that bitch, shoot everywhere. No limit, I never care. Spin a block, they never there. Roll out, man. It's a rap. Gang shit. G Herbo. Shout out to Revolt, man. I fuck with y'all. Y'all been following me through the day, man. Y'all see what my life like. Gang shit. Touch my fucking neck.